What's going on, folks? Welcome to the Feature Mod Show here with me, Simulation for the Nation. Today, we're going to be looking at a couple of tractors that came onto the mod of just the other day there across all platforms as well. Uh, some of which are rather quite impressive and add an awful lot of character into your game. So, we're going to start with a, a mod pack here which has been uh, really hotly anticipated, actually. It is by AMG Gaming. It is the, uh, the Zebra Pack. Zebra pack, yes, and uh, it is available on the console under New Holland and on PC under New Holland, and also there you go, is my third person camera mod is playing up and also available on PC in just the Ford. So let's have a look at them, shall we? We're gonna jump on into the Ford here. A beautiful looking uh, model inside. I hadn't known or seen too much about these tractors here. Uh, prior to uh, the, the news that this mod pack was going to be available. Now, what I particularly like, we're going to fire her up. Sounds lovely there with a little uh, four-cylinder uh, uh, engine under the bonnet. But what I particularly like is the, if you do indeed use manual gearbox there, the way in which they have been configured. So right now, for example, uh, we currently have, if you start in, there are four different ranges. So we're in low, low here. Uh, and then you can go into which would be low high uh so that you're in low range but you're in a group like the high group five through eight uh, and then you can go into high range and low group and then you can go into high range and high group all together so that's really fantastic to see obviously you got forward and reverse what would be and what is great to see there is that the forward reverse shifter does change with it now this Reminds me an awful lot of back in my day uh, when we had a... I remember, vividly remember a 7740 arriving onto the farm. And this this mod pack reminds me a lot of that with the realism of the controls there. Uh, from an actual mod itself, as we take a look around it here, we'll just jump on outside. You can see that it does pack an awful lot of detail. I love the bodywork on this thing. This is fantastic. What a brilliant little loader pack. We've got the loader bracket configured. It's lovely to see the hydraulic hoses there as well. Uh, back end does look very typical as to what we'd expect for a farm some tractor, but also always nice uh, to see. Uh, we'll go on into the store here and have a look at this, and we'll have a look at uh, across all ranges. Of course, they're going to be in the small tractors there. We'll zip along to the end. Uh, nice and cheap tractor to have on board as well, 41 grand there, and obviously you can see 75 horsepower as it's standard 5640, going up to 95 for the 77. Uh, lots of configurable options there, including your color scheme. You can go Fiat Power, you can go for the new uh, Ford color scheme as well. But we're going to keep with the traditional blue and white uh, wheels. As always, you can change. I always like to stick a Verge Sens on here. Uh, get some wider wheels on where we can. Uh, and then you have a few different loader brackets to boot. Well, like I say, what I do really like to see there uh when you stick uh this front loader bracket on is the detail to the front loader bracket and then the hose is there very nice indeed really do like to see that one and as i mentioned there it is available in new holland spec as well very similar tractor there, all the same just coming through for console there as a new holland as well uh now we have uh one of these in a really fetching uh black here i think this looks really cool stuck some jewel wheels on it but again look at the detail on the jewel wheels love to see that yeah, it is the the, the the gearbox shifting that really does uh, does appeal to me. So I'm looking forward to having a bit more of a play around with that one. And then once you're in that range, of course, you do have uh, some additional four additional additional gears to go through in that range. So really nice little tractor, actually. All the dials are working there as we uh, look to turn on some lights as well. You can see that we start to have the indicator moving there as well. That's cool to see. Uh, you got all your lights coming through on there as well again just nice little tension Ooh, and i've just seen look at all the dials going on the on the the lights there that's a neat touch really good levels of detail here that you don't often see now if we hit the beacon button as well there goes the, the beacon on there fantastic uh we don't have a pto to attach here but i wonder if the pto lever will move there as well because that is awesome really really impressive to see so that is AMG's latest effort. Really put some hard work into this Zebra pack here. And it is an absolute beauty. Can't wait to get this out and about there and have a look at it. Uh, now, now we're going to have a look into a couple of old friends of ours, really. We'll start with Smetty's Class X Axion 800. Now, this is a rather beautiful little tractor, to be honest. Very well designed. Looks, uh, looks wonderful. And I just love how this has converted across i think it's converted very well and looks stunning as well and i think that this is going to fit in very nice indeed particularly 
if like me you're thinking about the idea of sticking this on to a Clarkson's Farm challenge because this will fit an absolute dream really really well uh lovely uh medium range tractor actually here and uh, what we will do and what we'll do is we're just gonna have a quick look into the store and we'll have a look through with the different options here uh so as we come on in you'll see here obviously starting range is 160 grand there with very few uh specs on there starting at 197 horsepower as well you can obviously change your wheels around there uh you could stick some different uh side signs on here as well as adding more work lights into the mix add a couple of different beacons on and of course you want to stick a front link linkage on there too uh going all the way up to 850 which is just over 260 uh horsepower really good amount of power coming through there as well so it's a good size tractor where you'll be able to get a lot done with it for sure uh, but re yeah really do like this tractor an awful lot come back out into the game uh, it is you have your Sevus in here as well and you have the uh, semi-automatic like the uh, is it the tiptronic they call it? I can't quite remember but it's uh, that being said it is a nice little setup uh, you do see all everything you'd like to see in game there with your gear sticks moving um, and your indication there as well so that's always cool to see um, as we have a look at outside the tractor tires look fantastic on this thing they really do i like the uh the body panels as well and the, the mesh there looks brilliant all the way through it really is a smart looking machine there and it's nice to see that this has come back through into fs22 i must say we're starting to see some of the really great mods coming across that uh really going to be suitable for a lot of medium-sized farms out able to pull most of the equipment you're going to need too so it's a really good uh, all-round tractor to have as is the New Holland TM series. Now, this is a firm favorite. Uh, this is originally by Pepe978 uh, in FS19 and has made its way through. And it's looking rather resplendent for it, I have to say. We've been longing for a good TM to be coming through here. And it looks like our wait is now over. Uh, so, this is a rather special tractor indeed. Uh, if memory serves, when we jump into this one, this always had the really good sound to it. And I think it's brought, brought it on through again as well. Uh, as we look around the interior here as well, we start to see that our we do have... Interestingly, it looks like our draft control lever is moving there. I don't know why that would be moving as you speed up and down there, but that's something that could always be adjusted. The interior on this perhaps not quite so sharp as the other tractors we've looked at there, but still uh, a good tractor to have nonetheless uh the switches are not doing quite so much you do have your indicator working though which is always good to see and then you got your forward and reverse uh it's been a, a tm is a tractor that we've always wanted to see and i uh, honestly thought that we might see one coming through from giants in the in a classic dlc or, or add-on at some point and who knows maybe we still will but i do love the external views of this tm here it does look rather nice indeed and with a little area on there it's the arc back to some of the uh the, the older tra tractors of the early 2000s really beautiful tractor to have and it's always nice to have that on into game as well so it's been a really good week for mods a lot of mods coming through these days and i'm delighted to see it we will be coming up with on monday we're going to do a bit of a review into some of the mods that you have to include in your game save for ultimate realism so stay tuned for that one sunday will be coming live with another episode of building the farm uh until then though that has been the week from me simulation for the nation there'll be a couple of streams coming on sunday and monday so I look forward to seeing you in chat there until next time though folks i hope you have uh, a great weekend do stay safe wherever you are whatever you're doing and we shall see you all in the next one catch you later